guys remember when I played Maple County a few weeks ago, right? That nightmare of a game. Well, it really piqued my interest for finding analog horror games, and there hasn't been much that I found that's jumped out at me except for this one today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian, and today I'm playing Discover the Ocean. Let's jump right in. Ocean Exploration pro Program. <laughs> Discover the Ocean. For those of you who don't know, I am terrified of the ocean, so this is going to be very interesting for me. I don't know what's coming of this, but I already like how this looks. The ocean. A world of mystery and secrets, and absolute terrors the likes of which we've never seen before. Today, only 5% of the ocean has been explored, which is exactly why I'm afraid of it. Over 15% of all beings live in the ocean. Just happened with the music there. I'm nitpicking every little thing here. Even life itself originated from the ocean. That's true. That is a fact. I'm going to look for any little detail that I can here. Let's take a look beneath the surface. Here we go. Here's where things get real rough, guys. Get ready. It's about to get a little spooky, I think. What are you going to show me? Okay. Oh. Uh, the human body is not fit for exploring the depths. This is why we use the CDPV, Compact Diver Propulsion, propulsion Vehicle. I can't speak. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is, yeah, this is, uh, it's another, ooh. Ooh, yes, dude. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I love this. I am really happy that this is how it goes. What just happened? Oh, some yellowfish. Those are pretty dope. I always thought they were cool. Scientists have discovered that jellyfish are the oldest multicellular animals on the planet. Oh, I never knew that. So far, this is just informative. It's not scary at all. This is a lie. <laughs> okay, perfect timing there. Let's explore some more. I, I'm as ready as ever, I think. No, I'm not. Okay, we're at 16 for depth. Ooh, I don't like how dark it gets. The more I turn the camera down, am I looking for something? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, turn the camera up a little bit. Why are they all red glows? Why are you fading? Stop fading. Come back here. Do you have something for me? This is cool, man. I'm digging this. Ooh, a shark! Fun fact, my dad used to call me Sharky because when I was a baby, I would always try to bite his nose. Little fun fact about me. Sharks are one of the deadliest predators in the ocean. But not to humans. Shark sharks actually don't really care about people. They care about Fish. As a result, it is difficult to imagine them as prey. Oh, uh, where? What are you driving at with this? What are you driving at? Sorry, I hit my mic. Okay, everything is prey. Let's explore some more. Okay, a little bit vague there. A little bit of a tell not show there, but it's kind of what analog horror is all about. Let's go to this other red light. I'm tempted to like look around a little bit more, but I don't want to lose the light. It seems like it would be very easy to do so. I'm anticipating that we're going to have to go like way down at some point here. Okay. 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 Not a fan. I don't even want to know what that is. What is that? What is going on there? Good thing there's a lot of light. Discover the ocean. That wasn't it, was it? That can't be it. There has to be more. What is happening? Danger? The depth is going way down. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. As someone with thalassophobia, I am glad it's not being shown. But is there something I do? Damn. What? That can't have been it, dude. That's not it. There's gotta be more. Why are you showing me my mouse? What the hell? CX6TH2 
two oh. SG. Um. Oh. Okay, okay, there's a code here. I'm trying to piece together what this is. Okay, it's just repeating. So, hold on, I gotta write this down. So I'm first gonna write down the code that's flashing up on the screen here. CX6, T lowercase h. I can't tell if that's a Z or a 2. I'm gonna put both, capital S, lowercase g. So I also have to listen out for what he's saying. So I'm gonna wait till it loops over again. I don't know what that is. Alpha. Sierra. I don't know what that is. Echo. T. Echo. E. Bravo. B. I. N. Was that it? Paste bin? Is that what you're telling me? And the game just ended. It's telling me to go to paste bin and I have to enter in the code here. Do I have to put it in as the URL? I don't know anything about paste bin. Oh, dot ARG? Is this an ARG? Oh, is this a cipher? Yeah, HTTPS, that's what it would be. So how do I know what cipher this is? Here we go, okay, I'm on the page. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to spoil this he, right here, all here. So I'm gonna blur some of this stuff out and I'm not gonna look. I just wanna see what I have to do next. Caesar cipher with a value of 13. Okay, okay, dude. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let me try putting in 13 and see what that does here. Zero bin.net. This is it. This is, dude, no way. Okay, this is so cool. I'm really liking this. Let's go ahead and paste this in and see what it does. Enter the password. How would I know the password? Okay, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Let me, let me, uh, Vikri is the name of this person. They pretty much laid out everything that needs to be laid out here. I'm not gonna read any further than this. Apparently the password to this website is Prey. So we're gonna try to enter this and see. Yeah, there we go. It's a skeleton. We are Prey, we are Prey, we are Prey. There's all these different strings of numbers. Bloop, Julia, train, slow down, whistle, whale. Signal, insertion, gills? What? Oh, okay, I'm gonna translate this Morse code. I'm sorry for having cheated a little bit, guys. I just really wanna figure this out. This is very cool to me. Okay, here's where we're at. I entered the Morse code, I got this, and it brings me to this. Oh my God, no! The shadow of In's mouth is of course fiction. Oh, so there's some Lovecraft Lovecraft stuff going on here. So there is some more Morse code here. That's, for some reason, very difficult to say. I'm going to copy this and translate this instead. All right, I'm popping this in here. What is this? Ocean swim champ terrified by what lurks beneath. So it seems like all ocean-related stuff. So is there anything else, then, that I need here in this zero bin? So far, I don't see anything else. I'm assuming there is a lot going on in the background here that I am not gonna be able to figure out whatsoever. All right, well, unfortunately, I am totally clueless as to what I need to do here. I've gone as far as I can, and I don't wanna look at the rest of what the person said to try and figure out what else to do here. I feel really bad having to do that already. I'm not very good when it comes to ARGs and like figuring out code and all that. So I needed a little bit of a helping hand, but there's definitely some kind of ARG going on here that extends beyond the game itself. I think potentially this might end up being a continued thing. So please, if anyone knows about like ARGs, how to decode things, how to figure stuff like this out, please let me know in the comments. If there's more to be found here, I want to find it. Maybe I'll do a little bit more of a deep dive into whatever the hell is going on here um, after the video ends. Hey guys, it's me. So I'm pausing the video here because I had a hunch about something. When I went over here to the zero bin page, I noticed this string of numbers and I remembered about something called ASCII. I don't know how it's pronounced, ASCII. but I decided to input that here because I knew it was some type of code and it got me to this website and this is the website. So I'm going to browse 30. Okay, here we go. Interesting. Atlantic salmon manatee. So it's showing what will appear at these different levels and the darker it gets, the deeper it goes, the scarier it gets for me. We're going to keep going at 332 meters. This is the deepest any human has ever scuba dived. 
Okay, that's a little bit much for me. And now we're going into territory that I really don't... Okay, you have Japanese spider crab. 666 meters deep. Of course, that's where it would be. And this is the area where no sunlight is able to reach. Okay, this is not something I enjoy here. A giant tube worm? I'm gonna keep going until it won't let me go anymore. There's more here? I'm sorry I don't have my face cam going now. I just... I, ooh, cosmic jellyfish. I just had a hunch about that and I wanted to check it out. So I decided to just... Hop back on here and do like a voice thing, a voiceover instead. So apparently this is the average depth of the ocean, but in some places it goes deeper, much deeper. The Titanic wreckage sank to 3,800 meters. This is where it gets real, real deep and cold, the abyssal zone. Near freezing and very few animals can survive in the extreme pressure. Do you guys see how much is left? Let's just go all the way down, dude. The Challenger Deep. That's as deep as it goes, at least as far as we know. Well, this was very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And I'm seeing here that 10,924 meters is actually the deepest point. So it makes sense. It all comes together. I'm pretty sure that's where it ends. I can't seem to find any other codes here. The only other things that I can think of are these, but I don't have any. Maybe this means YouTube? Abyssal gigantism. Yeah, so it's just showing a lot of stuff about the ocean. Yeah, through the eyes of a freediver. Yeah, that's basically what all of this is. Seven eerie sounds recorded in the deep ocean. Okay. All right, so I'm legitimately thinking now that that's as much as I can do here, at least on my own. Sorry, I know it's a little bit weird to just throw this voiceover in the middle of the video, but I was way too intrigued to pass this up. Anyway, back to the video. But yeah, this was insanely cool. I love analog horror, especially when it comes to games because it gives the person playing them like direct control over some of the stuff that happens. And I know that pretty much goes without saying, but I really enjoyed the aspect of like being able to roam around underwater in that submersible and find the little bits and pieces to lead me to that ending. I get really excited when codes start popping up all over the place. It makes me like really want to get into it and do a deep dive. And of course I didn't really get that far here and I had to basically use somebody else's help without them even directly helping me in order to get to where I am now here. But still, insanely cool. And again, if you guys have any ideas of what I can do from here on out, please let me know in the comments below. Or better yet, if you guys wanna try this out for yourselves and see if you can figure it out using the knowledge that you have about all this stuff, I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's gonna be it for me. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate every last one of you for taking the time out of your day to come over to this channel Show me the support that you do. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to know that there are people out there who enjoy what I do here on YouTube. And it's the very thing that motivates me to keep going. So I thank you all for allowing me to do this. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. And while you're down there, make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily uploads I put up on this channel. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.